Hello guys and welcome back to my video. Background game is going to be this war of mine, the little ones. And it's one of my friends who is playing the game, so if you see something bad acting, he's going to die, do stupid thing. That's why you're going to understand, because he's playing for the first time. Um, so yeah. But today I'm going to talk about something seriously, okay? Uh, and that is what happened, the massive shooting in Norway in 2011, July the, the 21st, uh, or 22nd, I don't remember. I was just I was just 12 when that happened, and now I'm 18. <laughs> That's many years. I remember that, that year was I was actually taking and um, was playing in the or was going to the Norway uh, Norway Cup. Uh, yeah, it's football football thing, so. You play football. I mean, I was in the seventh grade, so uh, that was the the summer before high school. So I remember. Um, so it was good. It was kind of the year. I was excited first time. I mean, uh, it wasn't that football wasn't that interesting. Football was fun. Uh, and I remember one day, just I just hear there was bombing. It was bomb in Oslo. Uh, in the middle or centrum, the special place, there were all all parts or the people who can, can say rules are there, uh, and it was bombed there. It was a white van it was standing there and blowing up, and it was, it was a big explosion. Remember, I was walking and I just saw windows was was broken far away from that place where it was exploded, uh, and it was just terrible. And then it was like. That wasn't the worst part, because there was 8 people who died there, and 200 injured, okay, that's insane, from that bomb, and it was a really big blast radius. Um, and then you come to, like, and then we came to the island, Utøya. Uh, that was the most tragic thing, uh, because he was the po police, he was in police uniform, he was closing in. Uh, I got to link in the description down below so you can watch the documentary of what, what happened. It's just 44 minutes or 45. Uh, just watch it and you're going to understand. And the reason why I bring this up isn't because I say it's terrible. Of course, many people died there. It was 69 on the Utøyam and then it was 8, so it was 77 people died. Um, so, it was really terrible. You can just think about that many and it was just one man who took and killed all those people uh, and uh, there was actually very, very many if, if you think about the terrorism or attack those attacks at least they've been like two three people right or one suicide bomber <laughs> something like that they're doing right they're not they're, no, actually, never alone. I, I've never heard someone is alone when do those such, such things. But yeah, at least there are more people. Uh, but this guy, he has murdered a lot. But he kind of was smart uh, how he did it. You think about he was using this van. He was parking in one place um, uh, with those yeah, let's say those guys who rules um, the, the Norway or go and give ideas, they say they want to do it, and we take and vote for it. The same with the president, just we can vote them every four years, and they can just be there still. It's the same as president, just they can, they can just be there, right? Uh, how long as we want them to be, right? Uh, and th this is not like in presenting that you can only be eight years in the lead and then you need to move on. Now they can be like 16 years and then they and then someone else come in the lead and then they come back. Uh, and we choose it, so yeah. Um, so, and he was parking right outside with open door. We didn't have any guards there. Uh, they said like five years earlier, they said like, we need to stop this place uh, from pe people or cars to drive there. It, it, it's not good, it's dangerous since we have no security, no guards outside there. We just have we just have cameras. Uh, and like five years, that, that what they came so stupid. I mean, this is the stupidest thing ever. That was the wrong with Norway, like they have no security. And they would want to have lower military, they don't want 
they almost didn't want to have any military. That's crazy. This country. I mean, this is terrible. Um, so, and he was buying chemicals too uh, from Poland, and you can do it. He was like he was working in the farm, and you can do the kind of that thing in the farm if you're working there without control check. And of course, the police, uh, police, and everything. Those guys, they they get the, what people are buying and see the name, uh, but they just slipped right through. They didn't do it correctly. They just wasn't checking like up then he didn't knew he was he was doing that and he was buying uh, guns too so he was by having a rifle it's legal to have a rifle in norway semi-automatic rifle i know that's legal uh and you can have pistol too uh, the only way you can have semi-automatic rifle is going through if you are hunting and you need to go through things like you you or what the name uh, um like kind of school hunting school i think uh or you go on shooting range you're shooting on the range uh like i'm doing so i can yeah and you need to be 18 to buy this and if you want to have pistol you need to go to pistol club uh, to do that then you need to ask for, for go through police the paper and everything and if they say okay uh, that's you can have it and yeah remember you need to be clean on the papers do not do anything criminal like dangerous um so that's what the thing is uh, and he went right through and that happened so after bombing he took an drive to the place and from oslo to the utoya is around 40 minutes to drive um and then you have the boat it's really slow so i think it's 10 minutes back and forth or something um so yeah and the water was cold still it was in summer but it was really cold i remember it was a cold days uh, in the summer um, and then what he happened, he said it was police, and he said he they heard there was bombing there or something. So they heard that um, that police. He was said it was police. He going to search for bombs on the island. So you sneak. You can think about there was bombing right there, and he said he going. To, he need to search on the island if there are some bombs there. So they okay. He was armed and everything. So he came to the island and everything. He after that he began to gun down two guys and then people thought there was firework um kind of they explained that in the in the documentary and like this is not funny that there was just bombing and people using firework and then they hear more and someone see a, a person get shot down and they begin to scream and go confused and scared and everything begin to run um there was ring calling co cops and everything and they're going to explain more what's happening. It's bullshitting. It's most annoying because they were using old system, so they can only have two people like connecting. Like um, we have, you're in USA and now you have 911. We have three drif different uh, numbers. We have like the poli police, um, like the ambulance and the fi fire firemen. So yeah, so we have like. Uh, 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 110 that's the police we have um no wait that, that's the fireman <laughs> uh 112 that's his police uh, and then we have 113 that's um ambulance so like people was calling like 40 people was calling to the number because they was confused scared you know what would you do if, if you heard any gunshots and you see like you are on a uh, uh, in a you are in an island you cannot escape so this is in both boat that was running they want to sit there um and like the crew camera crew did hear that um there was so people was running hiding and everything uh, and they this they saw the ch chopper helicopter in the air and i thought there was police and going to save but that was just camera crew okay uh and people was running up they thought they was going to save they were like screaming hello we are here uh, and they get shot like uh, there was some people who was swimming in the water uh, he was shooting them too, but remember the bullets on the water is they will not kill you. At least if you're three meters down or something, uh, two yeah they will not kill you. Or one meter two yeah at least that it will not because the bullet will stop. It's something with a it's amazing. It's really bulletproof. But some people got shot. Uh, there was there was people like civilian who was both to come and help them out, uh, pick them up and everything. So. So, 
after like a while after they have shot shoot it was shooting he was calling police 10 times but they didn't answer <laughs> uh 10 times he was calling them to pick him up he was done he said like he wanted to get finished and uh, what happened that police didn't uh, come and take the phone and they just took him um, and he just continued to shoot because they didn't pick him up so the force and everything they wasn't coming and um, like I don't know, they they didn't they didn't have any choppers in the place. They could take choppers. They took forty minutes to drive with a car, and then ten minutes with a boat. And then uh, they need like, um, and with the chopper, it just could take just it would take just uh, have not take just ten minutes. Um, and they said it didn't have a chopper, but yes, it did have a chopper. Uh, it was local chopper. They could use it, but it wasn't like ambulance could use it uh, so, something like that but police could take that that chopper and use it there wasn't an ambulance chopper but i mean yeah those uh and like excuse was that no they didn't have anything there they didn't have any ammunition and weapon and gear i mean really that's so stupid what you what the police say that there and they they didn't have they like they didn't have any gear in the chopper, and that's correct. They didn't have anything because it's local chopper. Um, but the stupid thing is, you need a vest, some ammunition on you, and a rifle, and you're good to go. But no, no, no. They took the cars and everything, and yeah, because there wasn't well, like in Norway, they are not trained for this uh, terrorism and stuff. Like other countries, they know about this, but um, here in Norway, they are not trained for this. Um, and it's sad, because, they, I mean, after the first time they call, after the first time he was shooting, after they get the message, message, they could actually take, and police could just come out in 10 minutes, and save a lot of people, instead of getting teenagers, it was like teenagers, it was just 14, 15, 16 years old, uh, girls and guys, they, they were shot, 16, like, 14, 15, or 16 years old. So old. They were like in that, that age. Um, and he was kind of... <laughs> they, they could use the chopper and stop him in 10 minutes. I think it could probably have been 10 people who have died, okay? It have been still terrible, but haven't been the same. Um, right. So, but no, they was using the car instead. Um, so, it's... It was stupid, that's why so many people died. Um, uh, and that is just kind of, how can I say, embarrassed to, to, to be from this, from this country when you think about how bad the system is with the police, they're really bad. I mean, they have one time, I have one other time too, uh, they need to stop two dogs, police. Uh, and what really happened was that they had rifles. The dogs wasn't dangerous even, but there was Phil was threat threat to them. They was using 18 bullets to take and kill uh, two dogs. 18 bullets, rifle bullets. I mean, normally you can just use six bullets and they're down, but uh, yeah, you can see how bad I am to our team. So it's just terrible to think about Norwegian police, and they want to have less pol police, or no, less military too. Oh, it, it's crazy in this country, it's, it's hard to explain. Uh, but still, um, you, I'm going to stop here, you can watch the documentary and they're going to explain everything. Uh, but remember, in the end, they're going to say that he's going to get 21 years in the prison. In Norwegian, we have a different thing, that uh, when you are in the prison, you can only get 21 years. And after 21 years, uh, they will see if that guy or girl or the person is re if if they f f think he's still a threat, he will still need to be in the prison like ten years, and then after ten years, they will look and see if he is good enough. If not, if that after ten years they can do it. So every ten years they need to check it. After twenty one years, every ten years. So it's kind of those rules. We have we haven't that same as USA and yes we do not have any electric chair and every, every, nothing of that electric chair um, and I'm actually glad I don't have those things I mean uh, he need to live with what uh, with what he ever done uh, like he have killed many people and he need to live he need to stay in prison um, 
and that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's crazy to think about what happened, and so many lives could could get saved. He was he was calling even the police to help them, and um, or he was calling the police to get like, and that was that was stupid. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that was it. This was it for this guy, uh, this video, guys. Um, and remember, check the documentary. Probably I said something things you didn't understand, so they're going to explain more in the in the documentary. Um, so yeah, but uh, I hope you enjoy it and just see how crazy this world is, how bad, really, how really bad the police in Norway is. Um, it's just shame. It's a shame to. to <laughs> To have this police and yeah stupid but yeah guys thank you for watching and see you next time